Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the most intriguing books and ideas. Today, we've got a fascinating book to break down for you, Thinking, Fast and Slow, by Daniel Kahneman. This book takes us on a journey through the mind, exploring the two systems that drive the way we think. So, grab your notebooks and let's get started. Thinking, Fast and Slow, is a groundbreaking work by Nobel laureate Daniel Kahneman. The book is divided into five parts, each delving into different aspects of human thought processes, biases, and decision-making. Kahneman introduces us to two modes of thinking, System 1 and System 2. System 1 is our fast, automatic, and intuitive way of thinking. It's the system we use when we're making snap judgments or reacting to immediate situations. Think of it as your gut feeling or instinct. On the other hand, System 2 is slow, deliberate, and analytical. It's what we use when we're solving a complex math problem or making a thoughtful decision. Part 1 of the book dives deeper into these two systems. Kahneman explains how System 1 operates effortlessly and quickly, but it's also prone to errors and biases. System 2, while more reliable, requires more effort and energy, and naturally, we tend to avoid using it unless absolutely necessary. One of the key points here is that both systems have their strengths and weaknesses. System 1 can lead to quick and often accurate judgments, but it can also be fooled by biases and heuristics. For example, the availability heuristic, where people judge the frequency of events by how easily examples come to mind, can lead to skewed perceptions. In Part 2, Kahneman delves into heuristics and biases. He introduces us to various cognitive biases that affect our thinking. One such bias is the anchoring effect, where we rely too heavily on the first piece of information we encounter. For instance, if you're negotiating a salary and the first offer is $50,000, that number anchors your expectations, even if it's far from what you deserve. Another interesting concept is the representativeness heuristic where people assess the probability of an event based on how similar it is to their existing stereotypes. This can lead to misconceptions and faulty judgments, especially in complex situations. Moving on to Part 3, Kahneman tackles the issue of overconfidence. He explains how humans are often overly confident in their abilities and judgments. This overconfidence can lead to poor decision-making, especially in areas where we lack expertise. He illustrates this with the concept of the illusion of validity, where people believe their predictions are accurate even in the face of contradictory evidence. For example, in financial markets, experts often make predictions with great confidence, but their success rate is no better than chance. Kahneman urges us to be more skeptical of our own judgments and to seek out objective data. Part 4 is all about choices. Kahneman explores how we make decisions and the factors that influence our choices. He introduces the concept of prospect theory, which he developed with Amos Tversky. This theory explains how people value potential losses and gains differently, leading to irrational decision-making. For instance, people are generally more risk-averse when it comes to gains and more risk-seeking when trying to avoid losses. This can explain behaviors like why people hold on to losing stocks for too long or why they buy insurance for unlikely events. In the final part, part 5, Kahneman introduces the idea of the two selves, the experiencing self and the remembering self. The experiencing self is the one that lives through moments, while the remembering self is the one that looks back and constructs a narrative of our experiences. He explains how our memories of experiences especially the peaks and endings, often differ from the actual lived experience. For example, a vacation with a few high points and a great ending might be remembered more fondly than a longer vacation that was consistently pleasant but uneventful. So, what are the key takeaways from thinking fast and slow? 1. Understand the two systems. Recognize when you're using System 1 versus System 2. Try to engage System 2 for important decisions. 2. Beware of biases. Be mindful of cognitive biases like the availability heuristic, anchoring effect, and representativeness heuristic. These can lead to flawed judgments. 3. Question overconfidence. 
Challenge your own and others' overconfidence. Seek out objective data and multiple perspectives. 4. Prospect theory. Understand how losses and gains affect your decision-making. Strive for rational choices rather than emotional reactions. 5. Two selves. Be aware of the differences between your experiencing self and remembering self. This can help you make decisions that lead to more satisfying experiences overall. Thinking, fast and slow, is a treasure trove of insights into human psychology and decision-making. It's a must-read for anyone looking to understand the quirks of the human mind and improve their own thinking processes. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this summary, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what book you'd like us to cover next. And remember, keep thinking critically and stay curious. See you next time.